love getting to be even a part of it for just a little bit. This is such a cool thing, Selection Sunday. It's really special. And so I want to say just a couple of things. And of course, Elvis just prepped me with the notes a little bit. The NCAA tournament, third straight year, counting COVID, only done once before in the history of the program ever. That was 2001 to 2003, so that's incredible. Also, we did it with Michaela Daniels, Aaron Barnum. They both met, both missed four games plus, each with injury. Man, it was tough. They fought through injuries, played really hard this year. That was really tough for the team. Also, Amber Ramirez missed two games. Uh, Jersey and Samara also missed a game as well. So they really fought through injuries to win some games. I remember we had a game where we had three starters out. Won that game. Tells you a lot about the depth of this bench and that program to win that game too. Also, congratulations to Amber Ramirez, second team, all SEC for Amber Ramirez. Also, Samara Spencer, Arkansas' first freshman of the year. <laughs> Since 2009. And of course, Derby Wolfenbarger, named the all freshman team, which is awesome. Also, knocked off then number 12, LSU at home. What a game that was. Fourth in a row season where they've had at least one top 15 win. That's consistency. That's getting it done. Also, beat Mizzou at the SEC tournament, beating our rival all three times we played them. Yeah. Have you guys heard about the Battle Line rivalry? I don't know if you heard about that. Won it three times this year. Boom! Uh, also, as we said, Samara was the 2022 SEC Freshman Player of the Year. One more time, I just want to keep saying that over and over, how amazing that is. And as Elvis says, this is hot off the presses. This is brand new. Currently ranked number top uh, top 25 in the nation for total attendance at Bud Walton Arena for the women. <laughs> and he's the eighth biggest crowd in program history as we did our entire thing for 23 for 23, Amber Ramirez. That, of course, was for that, and that was the number eight crowd in the history of the program. So it was a great year, and we're going to find out where we're going with the tournament this year. Awfully excited about that. Now we're gonna, uh, when does that actually start as far as the uh, going? Because the men, as you guys know, right off the bat, 30 seconds into it, we knew where they were going. We don't know. Okay, we can do that. Absolutely. Uh oh, yeah. Amber, like, what? Ladies, I'm having a round of applause for Amber Ramirez. Give it up. So, you came back for this year, which was unbelievable, just to watch for me and for everybody else. Kind of describe a little bit about how the season went for you, kind of the, the, the highlights for you, because that game where it was 23 for 23 was an unbelievable experience just for us to even watch. Yeah, the 23 for 23 experience was great. I want to thank all the fans for coming out uh, for that game. I'm very grateful for that. Uh, grateful to be a part of this team. Wouldn't be here without them. Wouldn't be in a position that we are in without my teammates. So, got to give credit to them because they're that's why I'm where I'm at today because of them. Coaching staff, thank y'all for everything y'all done for me this past four years. I've been here, fans. Thank you so much. This season's been great. It's been unbelievable to watch. The number of taken on a little bit of a different role. Talk about what your role was this year with the squad and how you basically were the leader of the team. Uh, I know you won't say that because obviously everyone on the team is so important, but you had such a leadership role on this 2022 team. Yeah, just being the only senior on the team and be, being in a lot of different positions that I've been in my last four years here, um, I just wanted to show, lead by example and show that like, I got to uh, lead the team and everything that I've done. And that was basically what I needed to do this year, step up and be that leader of the team. When Michaela was injured, because she was injured for a few games, what was it like to run the point? Uh, was <laughs> that was an experience because obviously Michaela is such a great point guard, and so you are such a great shooting guard. Then you got to take over for that. What was that like to run the point for that entire game? And you played every minute of that game, by the way, all 40. After every game, I wanted her back <laughs> as soon as possible. And then the game, the Auburn game, where Sam was out too, after that game, I'd thank both of them for what they do because being a point guard is definitely hard. And they do a great job at it. That's why they lead the team so well. Um, and we need them for every minute of the next upcoming games that we have.
Thank you. Thank y'all for coming. I mean, this is awesome. This is awesome. Like really, uh, when we walked in, didn't know what to expect, but we had high expectations for what y'all done for us the last four years, five years. So thank you for being a part of this. But that was uh, a lot of excitement and fun to see our kids' reaction. What's it like? I mean, this isn't your first time, obviously. I mean, you were watching the selection show and you were going through region after region. Did you kind of see where it was going after a couple regions? Well, you start narrowing it down and you also start thinking, have I been looking at this wrong the whole time? Because the longer it goes. But no, we, uh, you know, that was one of the teams we've got film already pulled on. Y'all can assure you we've got film pulled on these guys. And I can tell you we know how to get around Austin. Uh, we've been in that building and we're going to shoot it better than we did last year. Uh, I just say. That is a, a, an arena you're familiar with. That's right. That's right where we played last year, but we won't have to be cooped up in the hotel like we're in jail. Uh, so we'll, we'll get out and enjoy uh, the, what Austin has to offer. And, you know, for this group to be in the NCAA tournament, I just couldn't be more proud of them and, and for them. So it's, uh, it's Utah uh, for people who, are, of course, are new here, uh, Pac-12. Uh, so you have a little bit of familiarity with the program. Really good friends with Lynn and their staff. Uh, I know a bunch of them. Uh, they've had a great season. It's uh, it's going to be a fun matchup. It's what you expect in a game like that. But um, it'll be uh, it'll be a clash of styles. Uh, What's one, Utah like? Uh, one that uh, I, I would tell you, Missourish. I, I, you know, for fans that, that want to put a, a you know an SEC feel to it, they're going to be they're going to be Missourish. Uh, they all shoot it really well, uh, and they've had a good year out there in the Pac-12. So nice. Uh, so as far as the 7-10 matchup, it's got to be difficult, especially as Razorback fans, to not look ahead to the second round. I know you as a coach, that is your mantra, you, you obviously this, this, this minute, this yeah. game, but I mean that's got to be difficult as Razorback fans, you're you know, bread and buttered Razorback fan, that's exciting though. Sure, no, and, and just to be in it is obviously a big thing the SEC has is prepared for no matter what comes down. If, if it, whoever it ends up in the second round, if you start guessing too much, you end up being surprised. So you take it, you really do look at, um, you know, uh, what's next and what's next will be getting ready for Utah. Let's talk a little bit about writ large, the team and the season and looking forward to this. What does it mean uh, to be where you guys are, to get such a great uh, draw? You achieve so much this season, so many great things. Talk about going forward, what it means for the, this program and these kids. Well, just that the NCAA tournament now has become accept, you know, expected. It's not, you know, make the NCAA tournament a couple years, then go back down into the play-in game and rebuild and do that. It's This is where it's at. It's to get into this thing and, and have these things every year and have an all-star game Thursday every year like we have. Uh, make this a tradition uh, and make it the expectation, and that's what these people said in front of us have done in a real short period of time. So we're going, so we're going to Austin. That's exciting. Lots of that's, that's drivable. Uh, you might have to break it up, stop at a Bucky somewhere along the way, and um, fuel up. But that's worth it. You know, plan an extra 45 minutes stop uh, in there along the way. But it's, it's certainly a place where uh, our fans can get to if, it, if available. But in the same time zone, we don't have to, uh, you know, worry about our bodies being on a weird time zone or any of those things. So lots of lots of positives um, for us to be uh, going to Austin. You've said it before so many times that by the end of the year, the freshmen are no longer freshmen. Uh, and that, that, that you have so many great freshmen on this team that they're now, they're seasoned veterans, basically. Talk about what the NCAA tournament means uh, for not just obviously rewarding the upperclassmen, but what it means for the freshmen as well. So why they all came, you know, to make sure this was the standard and compete in this thing and hopefully for a long string, you know, you start, if you can't win, you can't go four or five years in a row if you don't go three years in a row. Uh, so that's where I think this group has gotten. We wouldn't have attracted this freshman class and these kids if the upperclassmen hadn't got in and got this thing going to where it was attractive uh, to come in and play here. Everybody wants to play in the NCAA tournament. If you don't have any evidence that you're capable of doing that, then I wouldn't have, if any of these freshmen, I wouldn't have come either. So, you know, we've got the resources to do it. We've got the support of, obviously, our fans and our administration. So now it's just a matter of doing the work on the floor. Well, let's get everybody to Austin. What do you say? Yeah, let's uh, get let's as go. many fans as we can let's head south. Yep. to Austin for this game. It couldn't have been, honestly, it really could have been a better draw. Well, if, if y'all are looking for a great city, it is in my top five cities in the country. There's 
great music, great food, great stuff to do. Uh, and the weather's going to be warm, so these sweatsuits will look great up here, but we'll shed them once we get to Austin. Exactly, exactly. So for people who are here, thank you, by the way, so much for everyone who is passionate about the Razorback Women's Basketball Program. You can get tickets when you leave here. You can go home, 1-800-92-HOGS, obviously weekdays, but you can go to the website, ArkansasRazorbacks.com. You can immediately start getting your tickets for this. What we really want to do is we want to fill up Austin with as many Razorback fans as possible. You have the passion to be here, so let's go down to Austin and show this team what the Razorback support really is. Thank you all, everybody. Appreciate y'all. Coach Neighbors, everybody.